This uh, is an aphid and uh, what the aphids did is they destroyed my red currant plants. Red currants are berries and I planted them a few years ago but they never really grew properly and now I know, what, know why the aphids destroyed the leaves. So what I did is I put them under the microscope. The leaves uh, look uh, dried up, they look red, they look really horrible, the plant is really ill and when you turn the leaf around you can see those white dots and these white dots are the insects, uh, they're called aphids and what they do is, is they suck the sap of the leaf. Um, so this is basically, these are the berries, um, I was kind of expecting in a few weeks uh, to get these berries uh, but I'm kind of worried uh, that the plants are not going to survive. And here a little bit larger you can see these aphids, they don't move around really, they're just sitting there and they're sucking the sap of the leaf. And uh, so I decided I'm going to pick one of these leaves and I'm going to put the leaf under the microscope and gonna, I'm going to have a closer look at these aphids. Um, so I put the leaf carefully into this uh, glass a jar so that I can take it home um, to my home lab. Yeah, this is basically plant number one. You can see it's all ill, um, looks pretty bad. Plant number two, same story. The leaves are all really uh, destroyed. Uh, plant number three, same problem. Um, and plant number four is still okay. So um, actually I hope that uh, this plant is going to survive. I have to do something against the aphids now otherwise this plant is also going to be infected and then this one is also going to have a problem. However it does not carry many berries. I'm kind of worried that maybe the birds or so ate uh, some of them. So back at home the leaf goes under the stereo microscope um, and uh, then I simply had a look and uh, sure enough uh, what did I see? And on the top there is one sitting and um, also a little bit um, in the lower um, on the lower right corner there seems to be also a small one, maybe it's a larva, okay this could be maybe it's a larva, it's moving a little bit, maybe you can see that. Um, and this one basically is at 25 times magnified. Um, this is an aphid sitting there, it looks kind of cute I have to admit, a little bit larger, nice red eyes, not moving at all. Um, and uh, basically what it's doing here it's um, sucking the, the sap of the leaf and uh, that's basically its food. Um, I can also I also saw that basically the, the it's a little bit dirty uh, the whole lens um, so you can actually see that there is quite a bit of dust um, on the lens and uh, when you rotate the eyepiece uh, the dust also rotates so I have to do is I have to clean my eyepiece of the microscope not a big problem okay but in any case uh, these are aphids they are just sitting there um, eating away um, and uh, there are two more here. Um, they are a little bit transparent so if you look carefully you can actually see the organs moving but they are moving quite slowly. They have different sizes um, and uh, yeah, all of them look kind of nice and cute and so innocent somehow but actually they are plant pests and what they do is, is they can really damage uh, the crops. So that is simply my microscope setup so that you also see how I'm actually making these uh, videos here. I simply connected my mobile phone camera um, using a stand uh, directly, uh, I placed it directly in front of the eyepiece. Uh, so um, this is a microphone stand uh, that I bought yeah, and that's basically, it works quite well. And then I said okay, um, I want to see the move. So what I did is I took a little copper wire that I had lying around and it was actually poking the aphids a little bit and it was disturbing them in their lunch. Um, and sure enough they started moving and yeah this one is, is now uh, trying to escape, trying to run away, it doesn't like to be bothered. Um, and another one, let's poke it a little bit here and it's starting to move so you can actually see they are alive um, and they have huge antennae, really large ones and now it's uh, kind of running away. As I said they look kind of innocent and cute but really they really uh, are a real problem okay um, and uh, they are also very difficult to, to actually prevent. Uh, some people suggest that you should uh, spray the plant with soap water. This however might harm the plant. So other people say is you should uh, use a, a jet of water, a water stream to kind of brush them away from the leaves. Um, this uh, might also damage the plant a little bit. Uh, in any case uh, this is a problem okay. Um, and uh, if we don't do something then I'm kind of worried that uh, the berries, the plants um, are not going to carry any fruits uh, this, uh, this springtime. Yeah, in any case uh, this is uh, how they look like uh, and yet another one that I'm trying to poke. 
Yep, and here it goes. Yeah, and two more. It's kind of fun playing around with them a little bit. <laughs> this is a small one. Yeah. And when you poke them, they want to run away. Well, the aphids uh, are to blame probably for the fact uh, that uh, the leaves um, all look very ill. Um, in any case, it is a very nice uh, stereo microscopy um, uh, activity. Uh, one thing that you probably can also see that I connected now a, a pocket camera to the little microphone stand here. It's a microphone stand um, and I'm now using it to also uh, take pictures uh, through the eyepiece directly. Um, it works quite well. It's very stable. Okay, but that's a different story. In any case, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting, happy aphid hunting, I should rather say. And uh, all the best. Bye bye.